wanted to introduce you to her. This is Cece. I decided to give her a little glam before we went to nationals, and I was crying Miss Amazing. I named her Cece because she helps me see. See? <laughs> now I know how to get to some of my classes, like, mostly by myself. Wow. This is the way we go back. That's okay. amazing, man. Now, what would her life be like in an African country? Oh, God. God. Jesus Christ. Let's not, like, if let's she not. lived in Haiti, what would her life be like? Or Zimbabwe or Sudan? Oh, my God. See, gliders do things for the disadvantaged. They set up institutions and make allowances for them. Sons don't do that in homogeneous sun countries. Yeah, her life is Ask, um, so I live in the neighborhood, sure. um, and I have come to the CVS very often. Mm -hmm. May I ask why you called the police on those two men? Um, CVS policy dictates that if they're shoplifters, mm -hmm. the exit store with merchandise unpaid for, yeah. you should get the police involved. And if the police apprehend them, mm -hmm. they issue a volume yeah. Okay. So I actually did not elect the press charge, but I said, hey, look, I just want them to know they can't come in here anymore because they shop with you, and I just need them to sign that, and I need my merchandise back. And the officers obliged, and the guy said the same thing, thank you, and they left. It's not your merchandise, it's the store. You, so you know what happened. I follow my company's policies, not your policies, where I can appreciate your concerns. So you're willing to risk someone's life for, what, $30,000 a year? That's There was no risk, in my opinion. The, Thank you. You have a great night. Thank what you. is your name? My name is Storm Manager. No, what is his name? No one's going to tell you my name when you're sitting here videotaping us so that you can try and elicit some sort of violence against you. It's not going to happen. Elicit violence against you? You just elicited violence against two black men no, by calling it, the police it, on it, them. We got to walk away. When one of them had a warrant, he could have been arrested, and the cops still let him go. Just l listen to yourself. You work with black folks. You just remember that. Ask, um, so I... God. Damn, See, let, people let are getting fed team. up with it though. Yeah, he was like, You're not gonna bait that. me into some shit. Yeah, good on him for that. Not really, not, that as up up as, here. not as fed up as they should be, man. That was that, that's unacceptable, man. This is this is unacceptable, man. This woman should be shot. Um, she should be dragged, drawn, and quartered for this, man. Fuck her. So I live in the neighborhood, sure. um, and I have come to the CVS very often. Mm -hmm. May I ask why you called the police on those two men? Um, CVS policy dictates that if they're shoplifters, mm -hmm. the exit store with merchandise unpaid for, yeah. you should get the police involved. And if the police apprehend them, mm -hmm. they issue a bond yeah. Okay. So I actually did not elect the press charge. But I said, hey, look, I just want them to know they can't come in here anymore because they shop with you. And I just need them to sign that. And I need my merchandise back. And the officers obliged. And the guy said the same thing. Thank you. And they left. It's not your merchandise. It's the store. So you know what happened. I follow my company's policies, not your policies, where I can appreciate your concerns. So you're willing to risk someone's life for, what, $30,000 a year? Yeah. That's There was no risk, in my opinion. The Thank you. You have a great night. Thank what is your name? My name is Storm Manager. No, what is his name? No one's going to tell you my name when you're sitting here videotaping us so that you can try and elicit some sort of violence against you. It's not going to happen. Elicit violence against you? You just elicited violence against two black men no, by calling it, the police it, on it, them. We got to walk away. When one of them had a warrant, he could have been arrested, and the cops still let him go. Just l listen to yourself. You work with black folks. You just remember that. Police say that they not only robbed the store that you see behind me, but they say that they returned to the scene of the crime to retrieve an item left behind. Can you believe it? People work as hard for their money, and I don't think that it's okay for you just to demand free things. At the premier nail supply store in Marietta, things are back to normal Wednesday night. But at the lunch hour, September 19th, the owner says two female suspects came into the store appearing to want to buy supplies. When it came time to pay, they instead ran out, carrying about $600 in merchandise. Inside the store are numerous surveillance cameras. The owner shared the footage exclusively with Fox 11. You can see the cashier and the owner dressed in blue, chasing after the alleged robbers. But it went from bad to Fucking sexy red.
they're still they're still alleged robbers. Not that's robbers. A, that's Marcel Darius on the right. Yeah. <laughs> Pull up, pull up a pick of Marcel Darius real quick and tell me that's not Marcel Darius. <laughs> yeah, ugly black and Marcel Darius. Yeah, there. I mean. Girl on the left looks like she could bite a wall. <laughs> I give her. <laughs> the girl on the left looked like young Scrappy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, scrappy. Love, little Scrappy, you love hip hop? Yeah. Hey, man. Oh, my God, man. Christ, man. This one, she looked like fucking Quinn Buckner, man. Here in the owner, dressed in blue, chasing after the alleged robbers. But it went from bad to worse. One of the suspects returned to the store when she realized she left behind her phone, which included a driver's license. She aggressively demanded the phone back. The owner and clerk said, if you return the items, we'll give you your phone back. Nope. You don't negotiate with terrorists. Mistake number one. Yeah, but you have to because here's the thing. The cops still haven't come because there's a cop shortage. So I'm sure they called the cops immediately. Cops still haven't come. This girl, if she doesn't look at, would you want to pick all this shit up off the floor after they've already stolen? Would you want to have to pick every item, all these little items up and re fucking front face all that shit? Because she's going to knock all this shit down if you don't give her away. You kind of like, she kind of got you by the balls, man. From bad to worse. One of the suspects returned to the store when she realized she left behind her phone, which included a driver's license. She aggressively demanded the phone back. The owner and clerk said, if you return the items, we'll give you your phone back. No questions asked. Then it got really ugly. Instead, the alleged female robber gets violent, throwing the owner to the ground and roughing up the cash. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo. She, she, that, that's Marcel Darius right there. I think that one. Shit. Gets violent, throwing the owner to the ground and roughing up the cashier who is pregnant. Granted, robbing a nail supply store isn't exactly an Einstein move, but for getting your phone and coming back for it, even worse. The people we spoke to here today express concern for the owner. And when people just come in and uh, steal from them, I just don't think that it, it's right. Again, look at the video of the woman assaulting the owner and lunging at the pregnant woman behind the counter. Police say the theft was the less than the cost of the phone. These images show the injuries to the store owner who would not talk to us on camera, but confirm the chain of events. The suspects left in a black vehicle. Now, according to police, they say that they located them about a mile away with the stolen property right there in full view. They were taken into custody and arrested and booked on numerous charges. Laura Diaz reporting live from Marietta. Now back. Tonight, breaking news. <laughs> Must be Friday. <sighs> yeah. Mm, mm, mm. My God. Oh. 
All new tonight, criminals targeted a Boost mobile store in Philadelphia's West Oak Lane uh, three days in a row. Surveillance video shows an employee staying calm and standing back as a man police say who was armed with a knife just clears out the cash register. Action News reporter Brianna Smith, live for us at police headquarters tonight. And Brianna, you found out the owner put a stop to the crime, though, on the third day. That's right, Shar. He felt like he had to take matters into his own hands. The owner said that he lost more than $25,000 this month alone due to robberies and more than $75,000 over the past six months. And now the owner is closing stores to protect employees and his business as the suspect remains at large. The Boost Mobile on Ogontz Avenue in West Oak Lane is open, but the doors remain locked until customers approach the store. The owner says it's the latest security measure since this location was targeted three days in a row. On the 13th, so we had a robber who came in in the store and there was an employee working over here. Are you this time with Patel? Um, stop resisting. He be your brother? Oh, yeah, I guess. He could be he, uh, a relative. How come you don't talk like that, man? You trying to be white, man? I grew up here. Oh. I can put it on when I need to. Oh, you like Vivek, man. You like Vivek where I was showing me, right? Employee working over here. He showed the knife and then he walked away with uh, some cash. The same situation happened the next evening. <laughs> so owner Ankit Tawari was prepared for day three. He asked Philadelphia police to come to the area, but no officers responded. I knew to save my store and my property and my employee, I have to take the matters in. Oh, these the Jamaicans. These, is, these are Patels. These are Patois Patels. <laughs> what? I have. That's when Tawari chased the suspect away with a bat, as shown in this surveillance video. It took like 28 minutes for them to came came to the area for the robbery call. So I went ahead and I filed a police complaint. Tawari is not only worried about the slow police response time, but the future of his business. He says in September, seven of his stores were robbed, with the latest happening this week during the looting. The 6ABC neighborhood safety tracker shows there have been more than 5,300 robberies in Philadelphia the past 12 months. Up Jesus Christ. That's only up 4%. Mm. <laughs> 